Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Benny, your true nerd, and welcome to All Walls Must Fall, a game which, apparently this is a catchphrase of mine, I never really noticed it was, but it always comes in the comment when I said, this is a game I've had my eye on for a while, I can't remember where it was I actually saw it, but I saw it like ages ago and thought, ooh, that looks really promising, I'll keep an eye on that, and then well, I thought it was actually quite a long way in development, but apparently it was a really early stage, because this is actually just the pre-alpha I've managed to get my hands on, because this is actually on Kickstarter, it's got a Kickstarter campaign right now, I'll link that in the description below. But basically, I thought this looked really, really damn cool. So when they sent me a pre-alpha, I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm looking at this now. I very rarely look at Kickstarter games because generally I consider, like, you know, they're not far enough along. I'd like to see where it develops first. But just on occasion, just occasionally when a game looks cool enough, I do. And this game is a strategy, tactics, isometric, top-down, rhythm, XCOM, tech noir, alternate history. And at that point, I stopped listening to words and just start playing the game. What we may be witnessing is not just the end of the Cold War or the passing of a particular period of post-war history, but the end of history as such. Yeah, that turned out to not be true, did it? What we've experienced is not just everlasting Cold War and total surveillance by cross-temporal communication, but an entrapment in this deadly love. Well, that one's, uh, that might be more true, I'm not sure. Berlin, 2089. The Cold War never ended, yet the end lies ever close. Will this be the last time? Well, we just blew up Berlin, so quite possibly. You have been redirected to minus 10 hours. There has been a catastrophic event. Your agent awaits you. Your mission is to kill Dragon Muller. All right, why would I do that? Don't worry, we will get then. <laughs> Left click somewhere to move there. We will not get there, we will get then. Ooh, time travel games. Right click to run, but beware the cost. Click on the bouncer or the door to get inside. All right, so now I can move a thing. Lovely. And you've got to say, it looks really nice and polished, doesn't it? So, kill Dragon Muller hiding in a locked room. And I've travelled back in time 10 hours, presumably, to stop that whole explosion thing that we just saw a second ago. Now, what's going on here? Is this... Is this turns that are passing? In which case... Or is this maybe time that's... No, time's frozen. So, what's that meter down there and what happens when it hits zero and can I dance with F? Yes, I absolutely can dance with F. Well, that's very important. And dancing with F is causing my meter to go down. Ooh, okay, now I want to know what happens when that meter goes down. Ooh, I pressed A and I undid so I can travel back in time when I want, but that uses up the... Okay, when was that runs out? I don't know what this meter is. What is this meter? Oh, it's at zero. That's a concern. And now it's just stuck at zero. All right, maybe we'll just figure that out later. So I can just run over here. Ah, that might be my time powers because now I can't travel back in time. I can just dance. Well, that's marvelous. Right, let's talk to the bouncer. Hello, bouncer. So you look like trouble and I've got a bunch of stats for him. Scared, he's not that flirty, no. Respectful, critical, disgusted, angry. So based on what I can read about him, therefore, I can go, ah. Hang on, is this, are these the same meters? Well, no, because flirty and disgust, well, flirty and disgust might be the opposite of each other, but angry and scared don't feel like the opposite of each other. Right, let's use what we know here. He is respectful, scared, angry. Well, if he's respectful, sure, let's just say I do look like trouble, but I won't cause any for you. Ah, so that shuffled his opinion of me. I don't care what you say. I have the answers. You don't seem to care what you say yourself either. You're right, talk is cheap. You will care what I do if you don't let me in. You know what? Let's just quietly but not overtly threaten him. Okay, now he's gone up to scared. Whatever. You need to move along now. We're having such a great time. <laughs> I'd like to move this towards flirty. Can I move this towards flirty? Yeah, let's get out of this towards flirty. No. That I just disgusted him. Right, failure due to dis- Ah! I see. So by moving the conversation, I move him towards either angry or scared. Okay, and I need to get it up to the top of green, because if I max out scared or flirty or respectful, then he'll let me in. But if he gets too angry, disgusted or critical, he won't. So now I need to undo time. Except I can't do that because I used up my time travel powers by just letting them fade away earlier. All right, I see what's going on now. So let's try this again, this time while dancing, and it would appear, yes, actually, he starts off 14% flirty. Intriguing. So let's see if we can... Yeah, let's see if we can get the scared up. So if I just overtly threaten him, he might just let me through. So what are you going to do about it? Oh, no, that's just made him angry rather than scared. 
Okay. And you will care what I do if you don't let me in, my good sir. And okay, now we're moving back to schedule, but a bit angry. Whatever, you need to move along now. Don't tell me what to do. And that's going to... No, that's too critical. Okay, you look like trouble. You look like you'd like some trouble. Okay, now we're getting it. Okay, let's flirt him. Let's seduce our way past the bouncer here. I don't care what you say. Neither do I. Can I go dance? Now you don't seem to care what you say yourself either. I have all the answers. You will care what I do if you don't let me in. Same thing, but just say it in a sexy fashion. Neither do I. Can I go dance? Come on. Can I go dance now, please? And ooh, flirty. Oh, but he's getting angry. He's getting hot and bothered, but also angry. Whatever. You need to move along now. Well, at least my hips are still moving. Yeah, let's get this party started. Okay, you'd better hope I do. No, let's get this party started here. Come along. Oh, yes, you look like fun. Go on in. I seduced the bouncer. Great. Success, flirty. Nice. And now as a result, I can go inside the club. And I have just regained a bunch of temporal power. All right, now, do I need to speak to the bodyguard or can I just kind of go straight in? And time is passing. And, ooh, probably don't want to be seen by that thing. No. Let's talk to the bodyguard, see if he's got anything interesting to say. So you're not supposed to be here. Yes, I am. Well, probably not. I kind of seduced the guy outside. Obviously, I am. How else would I be here, my good man? And yeah, now he's getting a bit scared. Wait, what? Who gave you access? Gregor, your mom. <laughs> Thorson. I can't remember the name of the guy outside. I can't remember if that was even on screen. Uh, Gregor. Gregor gave me access. And uh, what are you doing here anyway? What does it look like? Something broke, i got to fix it. It's a bit tanky, you would understand. Do you have any idea what happens if I don't? Probably want to go down the scared route. Uh, yeah, something broke. That seems like that might work. Okay, now, ooh, nice. Success, fear. Ah, he's worried what will happen if something breaks and it's his fault. Yep, success, fear. Let him go past. And that means now that security camera doesn't do anything anymore because they know I'm supposed to be here. So that's an area I wasn't allowed to be in, but now I am. So now I can just move through into this room. And I've entered a new room, so I get a whole bunch of time power back. The question is, yeah, I need to kill Dragon in this room. And so far, all I've really done, <laughs> I've just basically seduced or otherwise uh, intimidated his guards. I haven't actually fought anyone yet, which I think is really, really damn cool. And now I've made my way to... Ah! Okay, time is frozen when I'm not moving. Got it. It's just I only have a finite amount of time power. This is like the only way to go. So we'll go... Actually, there's two ways to go. There's also... Ah! I like the way this game looks, by the way. It does look nice. Let's have a look see what's over here. What's this area? We've got another room round here. So we could go in here. And there's a... Ah, there's a locked door over there. What else do we have over here? Ah, you can't move the camera freely. You've got to actually go and investigate. Fine. Well, let's go and have a look see. I've got plenty of time powers right now. This is a locked door. Well, no fairness, it does say he was hiding in the locked room. So let's have a look, see what's going on here. So I can hack it open with minus 50 of my generic... You know what? Let's hack it open with my hack powers. And you're now in combat mode. Oh, dear. Q actions by clicking or hotkeys. That's him. Get him. Confirm actions by pressing the space bar. Left clicking enemies cues tap shots, they take damage and stun. Right clicking cues aim shots, more damage, less stun. We'll go on then. Damage indicators should warn you of incoming damage. And you can also undo your actions and travel back in time. Lovely, and we know about that already. We can just tap A. So if something goes wrong, I can undo it. Your mission target will be behind one of these guys. Kill the mission target, then get out of there. Good luck. So I probably want to step forward. Can I? No, I don't have line of sight, so I need to step forward. One because I have to get line of sight. He is now, I think he's just, did he just shoot me? There's there's something going on in the air that might just be, oh, that's just snow outside, it's fine. So that guy is now about to take a shot at me. So if I was to move over here, ah, you're Dragon Miller, let's take this guy. So I probably want to take an aim shot at you. So confirm aim shot on bodyguard. Two damage, one stun, damage is incoming. Just confirm that. So I have taken, I think I've taken, have I taken any damage myself? I don't think so. So confirm aim shot on bodyguard. Yep, you know what? Keep doing that. Okay. Your agent was hit. You can undo, press A. Do I want to undo though? Yeah, I've been quite badly hit. So let's press A to undo that. So this time, let's see if I can just actually step over here. Damage incoming. Well, can I avoid it? Uh, I took a bit of damage there. How about I go for an aim shot on you? And I have been killed. Better use undo, tap A. Fine. So undo back to where I was. 
Do I have to... Ah, wait, hang on. I think I can see the bullets in midair. So if I step in this direction, I think I avoid. So damage incoming. No, I got hit there. Fine. And then keep going back over here. What if I step over here, the far side of this guy? Yeah, confirm move. I know that they're going to miss me because it doesn't say damage incoming anymore. So now what I can do is I'm pretty safe here. So I can take an aim shot at you, confirmed aim shot, and I don't have any damage incoming. So we can shoot him, and now I know that someone is also taking a shot at me. So if I take a step over here, confirm move, I can literally avoid the bullets, which is really, really damn cool. Uh, I can also take an aim shot at you. Yep, that's fine. So take the aim shot. And we've got one shot in at him. He's probably... You know what? Keep going at him then. And there we are. Target has been killed. Lovely. So in, kill, avoid, avoid, shot, dead. Okay. This, this I like. And I imagine people are going to start running in a second. So now I need to get back to the car. And if I start running, yes, everyone starts running too, because everyone's a little bit worried about the whole murder situation that's going on here. Uh, maybe we can just... Is there, like, a back door I could go out? In all fairness, no one else seems to be trying to stop me, which is nice. And also, no one actually heard the gunshot over in this room, which is kind of cool, because that makes sense, because there's a lot of loud noise. I'm going over here. I'm going to figure out what's going on over this way. I might be able to get out the back way or something. Get back to the car. I need to exfiltrate. Are we sure that's a word... I'm not convinced that's a word. Anyway, through we go the club. You've got to say it's gorgeous, isn't it? I like the way this game looks. What's over here? I want to investigate these rooms before we go any further. We found the locked room. Is there anything else? Ah, I get a bunch of powers just for revealing the room. So there's more over here. This might be a backspace here. More rooms, more stuff unlocked, more time travel powers. I don't know why I unlock the ability to time travel by virtue of the fact that I have you know, just kind of seen a room or whatever, but I have. That's just how it goes. Ah, I also have to worry about reloading. Don't forget that. Let's actually reload my pistol. Lovely. Ah, so if I just walk, I'm using basically one time travel point per movement, but if I run, which I can do with right-clicking, I can basically move two in a single go, but I use a lot more time travel, which I guess it's like Stamina? Time stamina. Time travel. No, no, no. This way, this way, this way, this way. Out the door, please. Is the bouncer going to mind any of this, by the way? You're going to be cool with me. Hope you're going to be cool with me. Yep, everyone's 100% cool with the time traveling assassin with the robot arm. Let's just get back to the car in that case. Let's exfiltrate. Oh, you look like trouble. No, I, I think we're fine. I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Bye. I've done enough flirting with you. Let's exfiltrate, damn it. I'm still not convinced that's a word. Mission completed! Kill the target. Previous currency, zero. I have gained some money for travelling back in time and killing that guy, and I assume that means the tower doesn't blow up. Nice! So now I can use that money to buy stuff or go on to the next mission. Well, let's look what's in the shop first. Sure, why not? So, I've already got a pistol. I can have myself, ooh, a shotgun. Nice, and, ah, I can't even have a secondary weapon right now because I'd need to actually spend money to unlock that. Okay. So I start off with undo, where I can travel back in terms of, like, reversing everything. I can also rewind the world, but presumably not me, or trace back. Trace yourself back. Ah, move myself back, but leave the world where it is, I guess. Okay, that's kind of cool. Also, this is a pre-alpha. There's also technically just a mode to give myself more money. I don't feel bad doing that. You know what? Let's give myself a little bit more money, because I want to have a shotgun. <laughs> I don't mind having a shotgun. Right, buy a shotgun too. Lovely. There we are, secondary weapon shotgun. I approve of having a shotgun. I was going to have rewind. That'll do. Nice. That's not cheating. This is a pre-alpha. I'm just showing it off. I get to show off a shotgun. A shotgun's always a good thing to show off. Right, let's go to Oko. So, dead drop at Oko, or however you pronounce that exactly. Search ashtrays for hidden packages left by other agents. All right, then. And now I switch weapons with tab, and I rewind the world with S. All right. Your mission is to collect packages left at dead drops. What are the dead drops? Well, they're ashtrays, aren't they? Yes, ashtrays. Lovely. What am I collecting? Something explosive? Funny you should say that, says the terrifying one-eyed guy. Yes, we're probably picking up explosives. So we've got Oko here. Am I allowed to just go in? Ah, that is a locked door. So once again, I'm going to need to flirt my way past a bouncer or just murder them. But let's talk to them first. Let's see if we can just talk our way in first. Lovely. Hello there, you look like trouble. Okay, we just need to get past you again. Not as troubled as your childhood! <laughs> oh, that disgusts him, apparently. You don't seem to care what you have to say yourself, either. Boo, get out of here, you bastard. You need to move along now. You better hope I do. 
And that's making him scared. Oh, just, oh dear. Right, you know what? That's fine. Right, flirted my way past him. Get in here. Basically, okay, so very similar layout to the first level. Once again, we need to presumably talk to the bodyguard, because, yeah, we can't just go through here, because they'll be annoyed, because this area is not allowed right now. So let's see if we can just talk our way past you. You're not supposed to be here. And hello there. How come we haven't met before, sexy? There we are, flirted up. Who gave you access? Probably Gregor again. I think it might be in the same flipping building. Can't tell you, but I can tell you where my shift ends. That's right, flirt it up. Oh, okay then. <laughs> All these guards are so easy to flirt past. Is this actually the same building? It might be. It might be a... Uh... Not quite. I think this is like procedurally generated, I think I saw. So the buildings are kind of similar, but a bit different. So, find package in ashtray in hallway. We've got to find our way to a bunch of ashtrays. Okay. Ah, uh, here we are. One ashtray over here. Have a look, see. No package here. Okay, they're pretty easily highlighted. Go over here. Check you. No package. Keep checking. And I found one package. Good. Right, let's keep going around finding these. One locked door. Sure, hack that open. We've got tons of points. Hack that. And we might well be in a restricted area where someone might be planning to murder me. Ooh. Ah. There was a secondary door up here. Am I allowed to just be around here? Hello there. You're not supposed to be here. Now, I either need to tell him about the thing I need to fix with my robot arm or basically seduce him. Those seem to be the two that work the best. And I know, I know, I'll get it fixed ASAP. I'm just, there we are. Who gave you access? It's always Gregor. Gregor always seems to work. Oh, it didn't work this time. And something broke and I'm fixing it, damn it. Okay, carry on then. There we are. He respects me because I'm just repairing things. And he's going to let me out this way. So there's other doors around the outside if you mess up. Okay. Right, move through the club to the other side. There must be more ashtrays over here we can search. Here we go. A few more dotted around. And we've got a package. Just one more to go. There we are. All three packages located. Let's just get out of here. Presumably shooting something on the way out. This feels like the sort of game where you will probably shoot something on the way out. Then again, maybe not. Maybe we just leave nice and quickly. Right, over to Bipolar, interview bartenders. All right, then. Get pieces of info from bartenders. Now, I'm just curious what happens if I step onto the security group before I speak to these guys. Ah, okay. All of a sudden, it all goes to hell. Well, that's fine. It going to hell is more fun. Let me go over to a shotgun, please. Thank you. So, I'm just going to move over here. No. So, in that case, I don't want to move there because there's damage incoming. What if I move over damage... Outcome uncertain. Sure, give it a go. Ah, okay, I wasn't shot. So, bodyguard. So now I've got my shotgun out. Can we shoot him? No, with a shotgun you don't get precise shots. You just basically shoot him. So, shoot him. Nice, that'll do. Uh, you did at this point? Never mind, you're definitely dead now. More people coming in from the outside. Uh, so, is he dead? I don't know. Change over to pistol. There we go. Go for an aim shot. I've got damage incoming, so I need to move right now. So we'll move there. Then we'll go for an aim shot. No, damage is still incoming. What about over here? Damage, outcome uncertain, outcome uncertain. What if I jump to here? Damage incoming, outcome uncertain. Yeah, let's go at outcome uncertain. That seems fine. Aim shot, outcome uncertain. And now I need to... That's safe. Right. Go over here for you. Now I can get a couple of shots in at this guy. Yeah, I can just take him out nice and quickly. No one else is coming in yet. Take an aim shot at you. Outcome uncertain, but we can still hit him. Yeah, keep going. Lovely. Now just shoot him as he comes in. Outcome uncertain. So he might get to shoot me. And I've got no ammo. Change over to shotgun. I've still got no ammo. That's a concern. I didn't really bring many bullets with me, apparently. Right, well, in that case, we need to basically just run up to him and punch him then. Damage incoming, damage incoming, damage incoming, damage incoming. Right, this is a safe space to be. Yeah, we can move to here. Safe to be here. Damage incoming, damage incoming. I need to find a safe spot. Right, can be over here. That's fine. Confirm move, just dodge the bullets. Uh, outcome uncertain. Oh, go on, give it a go then. And now we can hopefully... Hopefully we can punch him, right? I really hope we can. No, because my secondary weapon isn't unarmed. That's, that's the problem here. I haven't set unarmed as my secondary weapon. Right, I need to undo some time here. There we are. Now I'm over here. Now I just need to make a run for it. Damage incoming. No, this is a safe spot. Okay, how about over here? No, damage isn't incoming right to there. 
there we go. So I can just dodge around all this. Outcome uncertain. Sure, just make a run for it. Now let's get inside. Nice. So now we should be pretty safe. So we can just come over here. This is all fine. So I need to potentially go and speak to some Bart. <laughs> I don't have any ammo. He's probably going to follow me now, isn't he? Right, let's go over here. Interact with that. Hack that open. And let's be on our way. We need to find some flipping bartenders here. Probably shouldn't unlock these things. Yeah, space bar. Unser no, why would you? Why are you going over there? All right, fine. Go over there then. Whatever. Yeah, this is safe. This is 100% safe. Keep going. I will keep going. I'm just a little bit concerned about security. Because they're like, you know, firing guns at me and stuff. So I should probably try and stay away from them. Right. Outcome uncertain, but I'm pretty far away from right now. I'm sure he probably can't hit me. Yeah, bartender. Go and speak to... I thought I was supposed to be speaking to the bartenders. Are they not happy with the fact there's a big gunfight going on? They might well not be, you know. Okay, just use my dash to get away as quickly as possible. Maybe I can just lose this guy and he'll completely lose interest in me. So I'm just dashing away as fast as I can. Ah, the number of gunmen's getting a bit high. I've decided I'm just going to reverse time a bit. Here we go. I can rewind the world back to before there was trouble. Potentially. Uh, but things are still... Yeah, I don't have enough time power to reverse all the way back. But I see what's going on now. Yes. In fact, actually, that's probably the best way to do this. Hang on. Let's say I want to do this quickly. Then I would say, just say, screw it. Hack the door. Just get inside as quickly as possible. Yeah, hack the door. That's fine. They apparently don't care. Now all I'm supposed to do is... Actually, it doesn't matter what happens next. Just, yeah, basically leave. Say, screw it. Walk over here. All I need to do now is I can just walk straight through here. And then immediately I can just rewind the world. So just head through here. There we go. Yep, through here. Just confirm the dash. Okay, and now, just rewind. And now, that's back to how it should be. I've just basically teleported past there. Nice, and there's no longer an alert on. And I can gain all my powers back right now. Nice. So now everything's nice and calm. I should just be able to go up to the bartenders and get the information. Okay, so I can bypass the checks just by, yeah, just by doing that. That's really cool. Now let's speak to the bartenders. But I need to get the information out to them, so I need to get the dialogue system right as well. So, do I know you? Respectful. BS. Shut up, Ruddy. Kiss my ass. Uh, shut up, Ruddy. Shut up and kiss me. Uh, you better do precisely as I say when I say it. Understand, but potentially say it in a sexy voice. Who knows? Uh, hey, can you lend me some money? That's not a good thing to say. Uh, you better do precisely as I say. Respectfulness is going up. I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. Give me some money. Do you know who I am? Nice talking to you. Uh, he respects me. Good. So he knows nothing. So I've spoken to a bartender there. So now I just need to go and speak to all these guys. And there we are. I've got the info from one of the bartenders. So the two bartenders knew something, but I need to find a different bartender. Uh, just need to find the other bar, therefore. But there's no general alert going on right now, so it's fine. Bars are unlikely to be behind closed doors. Here we are. We've got another one round here, of course. We know the layout to this one because we saw it previously. So, now we just need to speak to more of the bartenders, see if they know anything. And there we are. Third one here has the info. Now we just get back to the car. Nice. And, oh, oh dear. Apparently, we've got a fight to do on the way back to the car because somebody is not keen on what just happened there. Uh, question is, who's, who's not keen? Ah, Bodyguard over there is taking a pot shot at me. Fine. Uh, I need to get out of here. What's going to be the easiest way? Okay, rather than going back to the car that way, possibly I'm better off going this way and actually finding a different way out. Because there might be a... Yeah, there might be a side thing over here. So just walk over here. Hack this door. Yep, interact with that. Hack it open. All right. Now through here. Open it up. Get some time powers there. And then we've got, yeah, if I just move over here, he'll be upset with me in a moment. Actually, no, apparently I can still talk him round, potentially. Right, so he's actually been spoken round. Okay, so a couple of guys are coming after me. Possibly I should, like, sprint past here before this goes horribly wrong. But now I can loop around these guys. Yeah, let's just sprint around here as quick as you like. Now, is he going to go hostile the moment the other guys come in, or is he just going to accept that, you know, it's fine? Hack it open. Yep, hack. Open the door. So now we're through here, yep, and I've led those guys round in a circle. So there's still more people round here, but now, potentially, if I just dash over here, but I'm using up my time powers pretty quickly, 
Those guys don't seem to be hostile. I don't know why these guys went hostile. They just did. So let's dash out here if we can and see if that works. And, oh, I'm being shot. Okay. So, therefore, I probably want to undo that. So let's go back a little bit. Now, if I was to go through here, if I just take a step to here, confirm move. No one shot me yet. Now, can I move to outcome uncertain, outcome uncertain? Give it a go. Now I want to reverse the world to before I stepped through the thing. So if I just reverse the world here, you guys are presumably now, yep, back to not being hostile again. Nice. So now I can just sprint for the car, confirm the dash. Those guys let me go because the only guys who are shooting me are inside. And we can exfiltrate, which is not a word. And now this is interesting. The next mission is to recruit Dragon Muller at U1. We killed him, but potentially now we've gone further back in time before that in order to... I don't know. Time travel is confusing. Your mission is to befriend Dragon Muller. Okay, that makes no sense whatsoever. I killed that guy in the first mission. That's true. I did. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're time traveling. Things happen out of order. Let me handle the paradoxes. <laughs> Oh dear, just do as you're told. Alright, fine. Let's go in here. Uh, yeah. Hack open the door. I'm willing to spend my time pass rather than actually creating a fuss here. So we're going into U1. In we go. Now we need to come in here and we need to make friends with this guy. Now, the question is, are you going to be angry with me? No, you're not going to... Are you going to question me at all? No, you're not going to question me at all. Well, that's fine. All I need to do, therefore, is sprint through here and then immediately reverse time. So, dash, and then, yep, dash, there we go, and now, reverse time, there we go. And now everything's back to how it should be. Nice, I like that way of dealing with that. So we need to find Dragon Miller, and we need to recruit him. We just don't know where he is, he's in the bar somewhere, we just need to find the guy, fine. And the dance floor lights up as I step on it, I like that, that's good. Oh, this is quite a small place next to some of the others, fine, so we need to find him, he's not on the dance floor. He's somewhere else, so we're actually in a really small building. Fine, must be this size in that case. So here we are, one bar. And Dragon Miller is somewhere around here. Let's just step in so we can get a better view because yeah, the camera doesn't move. There he is. Talk to this man. So now we need to use all our time travel powers to potentially befriend or otherwise win the respect or otherwise seduce this happy chappy. Right, so chat to him and we've got plenty of time travel powers if this goes wrong. Hey, haven't seen you here before, so yeah, now I can use time travel to force him to like me. I uh, haven't seen you, you're hard to miss off. Okay, let's seduce him. Let's make him our boyfriend. Oh, no. No, he's not interested in that. He's more scared of us. Can't blame a guy for trying to get out there a little. Just don't hurt yourself. Don't tell him what I can and cannot say. I say that depends on how you do it. You're right, gotta keep trying. You're right, gotta keep trying. Let's be a motivational speaker here and... He respects it a little bit more. Nice talking to you. I think I'm going to go dance now. Okay, can I dance with you? You better leave. That's right, leave. Don't tell what I can and cannot do. Afraid of having a conversation, huh? Oh. Ah, he respects me for challenging him. Okay, some of the conversation choices are a little bit odd. I like the system. It needs a bit of work on the script, but I like the system. Fine, so now he respects us. And he trusts you more now. Nice. And that means I need to follow him. Okay, but presumably I need to make time... Yeah, I need to make time actually move in order to let him lead. Yeah, hang on. So, just move over here. Let him get ahead of us, if we can. There we go. So now we can just follow him. Let's just kind of fall one step behind here. There we go. Follow me. We can talk somewhere else. Okay. The question is, where is he leading us now? And does the dance floor light up when he steps on it? It does. He also has that magic power that I have. I like that. Now I need to dance with him. <laughs> okay. Uh, over here. Next to him. Now dance. There we go. Boom. Lord of the dance there. So he dances aggressively. I can space out dance, chicken dance, dis dance, or dance tortingly. I don't know what the space out dance is. I'm going to try that and see how it goes. Oh, dear. He's scared of us now. <laughs> now he's dancing at a distance. Oh, dear. Okay, dance seductively. Let's seduce him. He gasps and distances. Oh, oh, but is he scared or is he just scared of fronting up to what his own sexuality is? Yeah, continue dancing seductively. And he waves you to follow him. Nice. I have seduced him. 
I probably shouldn't seduce people who I'm, you know, time traveling. This feels like this is going to end badly in general. I mean, this guy's going to turn out to be my own father and I'm going to accidentally make him gay. That's what's going to happen here, isn't it? And now, oh. Now things have gone a bit wrong. Hang on, no, reverse time, reverse time before you saw me. Right, now dash if I can out of the way. Yeah, why did they go angry at me? Who saw me? Possibly a bodyguard saw me a bit oddly, but I seem to have... Yeah, I've got out of the way of there. Nice. Okay. And now he's led me in here. Hello there, Dragon Muller. Well, you sure know how to swing it. I absolutely do. And come here. I've got to whisper something in your ear. Yeah, I keep seducing him. Oh, he likes that. Okay, what little secret do you have for me? Why did you do it? I know it. You tit. In a few hours, everyone will be dead and you're responsible. No, no, don't tell people they're going to be terrorists in the future or whatever. That's probably a bad idea. We shouldn't, or maybe that is how you time- I don't know how you time travel. Ah, unfortunately, it seems that now the conversation has to go into time traveling paradox agenciness. There's no way to just flirt with him anymore. You've been contacted during a lot of trouble. Do you ever stop thinking what they might do with it? Uh, where does that go? You're from Stasis. They'll kill me for talking to you. No, that's fine. We can just be boyfriends. It'll be lovely. Come with me if you want to live. I like that. Not if I kill you first, gonna move on. Stay quiet and follow me, you might just live. Stay quiet and follow me, you might just... Those are the same two options. Come with me if you want to live. Yes, we have to go for that one, absolutely. Ooh! That was a successful flirt. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. It's a successful flirt. Marvellous. I don't want to die. Help me get out of here. Fine. So he trusts you more now. So now he's presumably going to follow me. Yeah, he follows me. So now I need to get back to the car. Uh, where is the- ah, the exit's actually just over here. So now we just head over here and- ooh, hello, okay, can't go that way, yeah. You just guys just stay over there for a second, please. No, don't see that. Dash over here. Again, just rewind them from seeing me. Who are these guys? There's- ah, I see at this point- oh, you're a shade. I don't know what a shade is, but I think I can literally just keep rewinding time far enough back that I can actually get out of the room. So he's now trying to follow me, right, through here. Yeah, now just through here to here. Yeah, confirm the dash. And now, I now just reverse them to having not seen me. And now we should be fine, because he's still following me, right? Uh, no weapons allowed in here. Well, that's 100% fine. Now we go out and there's a lot of people over here. Right, I can, I think, just get back to the car before this causes trouble. So if I now just move over here... Yeah, now reverse time a bit. I'm draining my time powers really quickly. <laughs> but I can just about pull this off. Now around here. Now avoid. Now around here. Okay, and now I should just be able to exit. Though the guy's not actually following me anymore. Uh, the problem is... Oh no, apparently he just caught up with me. Nice. <laughs> okay, the rewind power is possibly uh, yeah, not expensive enough in terms of your time power. It's too easy to just skip past literally everything. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think you get the point. You don't really need to see more of this, because to be honest, at this point, like, you know, for now, at least the environments are all fairly similar and the missions are fairly similar and everything kind of works pretty similar. I mean, it needs a lot of work, absolutely, but I love the foundation of this. I think, like, you know, if they polish up the script a bit and make kind of, you know, the dialogue options a bit more kind of logically sound, they make the levels a bit more kind of varied, and they kind of put a bit more, yeah, I think if they rebalance some of the time travel powers, especially, this could be something really, really damn special. So, link to its Kickstarter in the description below. Perfect world, I'd love to see this finished, because I would love to actually play the finished version of this, so I do wish them the best of luck, and hopefully we'll get to play a full version in the future. But in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been All Walls Must Fall. Thank you very much, and goodbye. T-34 moves closer to you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get some with one of the finest tanks the Soviets ever produced. Owen, I wanted to ask you. Do you think you... Oh no, who just showed... Oh, screw you, Sherman! Get out of here, you damn American! I want to make out with a Soviet tank!